I've been building in Minecraft for about 10 years now. So I think it's fair to say that I've got some experience under my belt and that I can possibly guide you in the right direction if you're looking for it to improve your house. Maybe you have the best house on the planet. In that case, you're at the wrong video. But if you're kind of like new beginning to building, you don't know the basics or anything, you've kind of seen some buildings on Reddit or something and you're just like, oh man, I wish I could build that. Well, you've come to the right place. Let's get into some things that you can do to improve your buildings. Step one, your windows. Your windows are a very important part of your home. I mean, first they allow, I mean, not in Minecraft at least, but they would allow cooling, but they allow natural sunlight. Natural sunlight's very nice, especially inside of a house like this. You see, I got the sun set over there. Like, isn't that just amazing? And this house was built on a Discord server and I built it for a user over here. However, this is a perfect example of what you can do to your windows. First off, I like adding these little planter boxes here. I feel like those break up the colors especially. Now, yes, it's all mainly spruce on this, but there's also sandstone behind it. And that breaks up the color a bit. When you add in this green here, plus the nice little red touches there, and then the green for the leaves. So it fits very well, especially with the brick down here. And this is kind of like a, what would you say, like a medieval Tudor? kind of style home I know it doesn't have like the white bits up here but that's kind of what I try with the fences here but Tudor house sort of kind of I guess number two while we're over here is going to be color choice of home now if you see around my homes here you can see that my common theme with these is a dark and a light I choose a light and I choose a dark to go with it so this is a perfect example on this house for this I'm using spruce and I'm also using some sandstone here and those combined make the house look very nice and then combine that with a dark up top followed by another dark for the roof and then some light stones up here and then dark at the top for the fire pit or not fire pit sorry the chimney my bad my building knowledge is amateur also another thing with these is usually I use um these spruce trap doors here because you can't see through them. It's the same with dark oak cover. I don't think they look the best. But yes, color combination is very important. And unless you're Simrani, you're not going to be making a redstone and lapis house look good. He's the only one that can do that. Moving on, it's going to have to be adding texture to your stone. Assuming that you're going for like a stone build because that's what most people are doing now. You're going to want to add some texture to it. So texture being in like these dead coral fans, these walls here, these buttons, more walls, stairs, just making it all broken up, followed by some leaves even, just some nice greenery. But yeah, that's going to add a lot more detail depth. I got some coral too. But that's going to add a lot more detail and depth to your build. And it's just going to look a lot greater. Now you can see that I didn't do it over here. That's because I still need to. However, if we go to the other side of said bridge, you can see that I've done it over here. And along with adding greenery plus something to break up the colors, it looks a lot nicer than if I were to just come over here where it's only got some stairs and broken bits inside of it. So yeah, color combinations, 100% important. Greenery, 100% important. And different colored blocks inside, important. Another thing that you can do is making a pathway around your home. Now usually you see people with like grass or if you're going for it you can make like kind of like artificial turf with concrete powder or in concrete and terracotta. However, I personally like to go with like some coarse dirt, pods old regular dirt and then maybe a couple of grass splotches here and there followed by greenery around it to make it look like it's been here and that it's been kind of like just settling down and that's kind of new also with this but also like the the ground's been abused over the years you know slash and burn is still going on here it just hasn't recovered the soil completely grass is failing to grow and instead you get this i think it looks nice with like these stone buildings around a modern building your best bet is with grass over along these this goes together with the woods and then it also goes together with the stones pretty well because dark and light here's another example of pattern here i have concrete powder i have some quartz bricks i have regular quartz and i've got snow above in here but you can't really see the snow unless you go right here there's snow 
Next thing to making your builds look absolutely immaculate is to add some stuff around it. Now sure, the build itself can look great, but is it really going to look great if it's just in the middle of nowhere? No, it's not going to look that amazing if it's just in the middle of... If it was just in the middle of this desert, sure, it would look great, but it doesn't have all the beautiful flowers that are just piling around in fungus. It doesn't have all that. It doesn't have the, the property of the um, ocean front here. It doesn't have these cool uh, pipes that are used for drainage. It doesn't have that. It doesn't have neighboring houses. Like, if it was plopped in the middle of here, it wouldn't have any of this neighboring stuff. So, yes, adding around it, that's very important. Moving on, ceilings can be preferably three high. This one's obviously short by two and a half blocks, so, yeah. However, that's not the point. Interiorize your builds. I swear, a lot of people don't. I'm guilty of it in survival. In creative, however, I'm not guilty of it. I'm the exact opposite. And there you go, there are a few things that you can do to make your homes look a lot better than what they did originally. So, if you are new to this channel, hey, I guess. Also, I'm thinking about doing some tutorials on some of these houses. Like, just kind of how I put them together and everything. But this one was more of just an introduction, like, how do I implement these into buildings? Just plop them on your windows. How do I implement greenery? Use an auto clicker and just start flying around it. There you go. Color combination. Use your little noggin. Anyway, that's going to be it for today's video. Thank you all so much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed and I hope to see all of you in the next video. Goodbye everyone.